Lyra versus Jaina. You asked for it. Watch your back. All right, let's try to get some combo cards with SI. Since I don't have a coin, I need to pick up some cheap spells with it. It's I think this is still a keep regardless against Mage. I can either drop it as a 3-3 on turn 3, or try to, like, depending on what I get, I can try to save it for combo. Yeah, there's like a more minion heavy list, but I, I just really like burst control list right now because of the meta. So if you're running like one oil, you could go for like a Dr. Boom sludge belcher kind of heal bot list. I've also seen that work. Hello. The pleasure is mine. And yeah, we're just going to play SI on turn 3 as of now, so I'm not going to swing with the dagger. It just kind of depends, like this is a, I guess like a faster list than the more minion heavy Dr. Boom one. Ha, this guy's toast. Do have prep sprint next turn? If we do pick up some things, maybe we can save prep for Ren Cleef, but it's looking unlikely. Okay, so it's actually probably Freeze Mage. Hey, lights out. This is going to be an important card. Let's see, we could time it on like turn 7 to stop Frost Nova if we have a decent board. We could time it after Alex Straza to stop the burn turns. There's a lot of options we have with it. Looks like he might be running a Reno list as well. I have 9 cards in my hand so I should be fine. Let's see. We actually have a decent move like a two turn setup like one next turn we can get a gigantic Van Cleef out and then load that the next turn that could be something to go for we could get our Van Cleef 6-6 or 4-4 I'm actually gonna go for 6-6 Van Cleef here also have some spell power this turn Because he does have coins, so if I just get a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3, three, three, I'm really weak to coin flame strike. Even though technically it's better to save your burn spells and develop your minions first. It's just in this situation it's a little bit different because of the flame strike breakpoint. Okay, yeah, so this is my low thumb turn. And he can't actually Frost Nova this turn, even though he has a coin, because he can't coin Frost Nova with Lothab either. This kind of guarantees potentially a lot of damage here. Strongest thing you can do is like drop minions, but should be fine. I actually have things that only hit minions anyways. So we have 10, 15, 16, so it's lethal. It's actually a couple ways I have lethal here. Okay, so now, now let's see how I get him to the lowest. 9-9. Nine, nine. Definitely gonna try to proc this block. It might even be Ice Barrier, which case is dead.
My hand's still really good. I get this sprint in as well. Last turn. I'm thinking about keeping prep. Is that... Uh, I probably won't, because there, there's no minions I have in my hand right now. I need some minions to back up my deadly poison. I feel like if I had, like, say, an Azure Drake in my hand, it might be better to keep out prep, or it could be, like, better to keep prep in matchups, like, against Druid, because then you can do something like Azure Drake, prep eviscerate things. Against Mage, it seems like it's hard to get really preps as well. These early turns are my most important turns for minion development because once it gets to late enough, he can AoE. It's like it's like worth it from the AoE. Uh, so, you know, I'm thinking of playing Shredder. There's just no good way to play Shredder here. Good thing it was a mirror entity. I mean, it's freeze mage, very unlikely. This is good. Like, the most important resource against freeze mage is turn timers early because their AoEs, they want to hold it late game. Like, their AoEs for freeze mage, like, buy them turns, basically. So, I like this move a lot in this matchup. It's like so much pressure early, like, very early pressure, like this. You might be setting up for a fireball next turn, but that's fine. Just play an order where it's like if it was randomly vaporized or mirror entity, I had some moves different, but not a big deal. Here we go. I don't think it's worth it to play our own flame strike here just because. You know, Flame Strike is just so bad, it's not really worth playing around. And I, I guess I could play Shredder and Hero Power, but I don't need a Hero Power, it still has a charge left. I'm just gonna go ahead and play Drake to recycle, like, cycle through my deck a little bit more. Here, though, it's very likely I am gonna play around Flame Strike. And regardless what happens, I can deal with Frost and Doomsayer. Because I have Sap and I have Oil Flurry. Either way, I can deal with Doomsayer. Um, how much damage is this? This is 4, 9 with the Flurry, plus 3, 12, plus 8, 20, 23. He's 25, so I can't kill him this turn. I'm attacking first because this is a second barrier, so he doesn't get another secret here as far as I know. And either way, it's not worth the I mean it's not like he can get a second barrier, so even if he does get another secret, it wouldn't matter. The end is coming! 
Let's see if I can get his block. I actually think I can. Prep oil. This is a s four here. Six. Four plus six plus eviscerate and sap. Oh my god, if I could send to one, it'd actually be lethal, but I can't. Oh, I, I could've! I could've! Oh... I actually could've won there. So I do want to develop my Blood Mage to just cycle through. This guy's really annoying because if he just blizzards here, he'll still have this Alex Straza up. I mean, I have outs to kill him probably. That's his block, second block. He's already played both barriers. He might still have a heal bot as well. So he's just giving up his block here. As long as I don't die this turn, which is decent shot. Because he has no more defensive cards. He has no block this turn. Like, if he had still ice block, he could ice block fireball and then fire or something like that. Or, you know, it's very easy for him to win. But because he has no block and I have Lothab, I think he has to win this turn. Sure, I can pick up one more damage. This guy's toast. Valera versus Jaina. You asked for it. Watch your. I probably won't keep Eviscerate against Mage. It's kind of hard to get full value of Eviscerate. And cards like Backstab and Deadly Poison can do similar things. It's actually not a bad draw. So next here we can prep fan SI to proc combo. That'll give us, huh. I guess regardless, let's just keep our options open, but we'll start by attacking it. Cause we can actually prep fan, attack the one one, and then SI the other minion. Could be something like a sorcerer apprentice or mad scientist. Toast. 
I kind of don't feel like that play was super worth it for him to play AI there if he had something better. Because you don't really want to play from behind. It's not really worth it to burn my prep just for the combo here. Two three threes instead of three five. While it is stronger, uh, you know, I, I still have this prep in my hand. I think we're actually building a little bit of a lead. Because my next turns are going to be really good. I'm gonna actually swing this turn because I have Vi Teacher make a dagger for six mana prep Tinker Oil next turn. So I can actually play a whole hand. And I do want to make a dagger anyways next turn before the Tinker Oil. I feel like this is the best result. It's much better than hitting a 1-1 one, one there. But like uh, the reason why I guess I didn't trade my guy first is maybe hitting the other guy is not bad either because I can just trade that into the 5-4. I'm kind of running out of steam. But I, I, I guess he's at 28, so... Probably gonna have to not sap this. Here we go. I shall My deck's running out of steam pretty fast. I feel like Rogue is just kind of ult, although. For the sprints. Okay, now all of a sudden not running out of steam. Not swinging, just holding the dagger because I can spend all my mana next turn. There's probably not going to be a better sap target than a mechanical yeti, and I can always combo with spell power next turn, eviscerate, so. His hand's like really minion heavy. Well, maybe not, but he's already used two fire bells and a frostbolt. I'm probably starting to get to the point where I just start swinging a knife. I'm running out of cards again. And he's getting really low. Might even have lethal. 9, 10, 9, 10, 12, 13. One off. Since I have Sprint next turn, I'd rather just make the slightly stronger play of Blade Flaring this turn so I could Sprint and only have 3 mana left over. Like I don't have mana to Blade Flurry next turn. 
I can either sprint into Eviscerate, sprint a Deadly Poison, if he has something like Flame Strike. Yeah, there's almost no way he was going to kill me that turn, leaving up Boom, because two Fireballs, one Frost Bolt's already been played. So I think his last burn is like maybe last Frost Bolt, which wasn't enough, unless he got maybe super lucky on the Boom bots. I don't even know how it works, so like, if every main is a 1-1 one, one for 1, when you build a deck, what's the difference between any deck? You just, it's the spells? Valera versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. Watch. Your back. Just spells. I guess Rogue would be really good. Rogue is really good at killing 1-1s one with Hero Power and Fan and Knives. Must Muster for Battle seems like a good like a good card. Maybe just play Freeze Mage actually. It's just the minions don't do anything anyways, right? I'm not sure. A lot of times I keep two four drops against a lot of decks. I'm not sure about against Hunter. It seems like I will be too slow against Hunter to do that. Earthen Ring is pretty good, but it doesn't like contribute to the board early that much. I might just go ahead and mulligan everything or just keep two four drops. Oh, that's hand turned pretty good actually. You can actually still curve out here with Deadly Poison next turn, Fan Knives, Backstab, things like that. Instead of like backstabbing here and coining out a 4-drop followed by another 4-drop. Because we can just start using the size pressure. We definitely don't want to give him another charge of the bow. Even if it's explosive for now. Hmm. It's actually pretty good for me, I think. I'm trying to think I should kill this web spinner. Because if I play Vi Teacher backstab on the 4-2 and he has the web spinner, he can kill my 1-1 to isolate my guy from freezing trap. But it could also be snake trap. Let's not attack. I mean, this guy, even if he isolates it, it's still a threat regardless. Uh, there's a lot of risk against Snake Trap. Especially since I have Fana Knives, it seems wrong to proc Snake Trap on a turn where I don't even play Fana Knives. Here we go. So it's not Snake Trap. I'm actually hoping to get Zap soon. Orange HS, thanks for resubbing. Welcome to the Strive Crew. Welcome back. Crowfist. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's start testing Freezing Trap first. How do we want to do this? I shall do as you say. I feel like I'm almost certainly going to play Prep Fan here, so let's test it like there. Okay, so it's actually Bear or Explosive. How do we want to do this? Black dogs, all of you. Do I even want to prep? Here we go. 
No, I messed this turn up. I should have attacked with Violet Teacher before before Fanonizing. That way, I could have attacked safely into the into the freezing trap or something. I'm kind of surprised he didn't just go face. He can't kill all my 1 1s this turn. I shall do as you say. It's another face trap. Could it be bear trap? I shall do as you say. Lapdogs! All of you! It's actually not completely unreasonable to try to race him there. I'm not too confident about it though. That kind of race, like leaving up the Houndmaster and just going face. This is... I don't feel like that's the right attack for him. Oh, that's such a good top deck. I could clear his board here. The end is close. My eyes are open. Okay, so I'm assuming he can't do one damage, so I made this kind of play. It helps a lot to have an extra 5-1. Uh, Unleash seemed like it would have come last turn. I had so much stuff already. And his play last turn wasn't great. So it didn't seem like, you know, it's like, oh, let's play this instead of Unleash the Hounds. Doesn't seem that likely. Put this apple on your head. <laughs> okay, good. That's not Unleash. I'm so scared of myself, Juggler. Oh. Okay. Eh, I'm probably just go in. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so if it's explosive, I go in, it's really bad. But if I attack a minion and it's snake trap, then I lose, right? Pretty much. It's kind of like that I lose if I attack a minion and it's snake trap. Let's see what I top deck. We can change our mind depending on what I top deck. But he's played two bear traps. So I'm thinking his deck's more of a board control deck. We could remove one minion like this, but yeah, if Snake just kills all my guys, I don't win. I wonder. Actually, I don't need to risk it. I could go like this, kills this. I still win in two turns of oil. What happened? <laughs> we'll never know. We will never know. I mean, I feel like it's more likely to be Snake with his decklist.